What do you think of the song, Vish? It's a YLT on uh, SoundCloud. I don't know if that's a Yelty, but... It sounds a bit like Drake. Yeah, I was, I was kind of thinking that too, and I was like, is this, this is not mumble rap, right? Is that kind of slurred? It is, it is. I really like it though. I was like, I was like, this is pretty dope. <laughs> okay. And I tried to like, uh, like, uh, what do you call it, Siri it? Like, what song is yeah, this? Yeah. And uh, it didn't come up with anything, so I had to like go into the, the SoundCloud credits. And I was like, oh, it is actually written by this dude. He's not famous, but it should be. What is Cool. Yeah, so uh, this is episode 74. Yeah, I think so. 74, yeah, it's 74, 74. Uh, yeah, talk about the Stan usual. Lee. Stan Lee, yep, yeah. Excelsior. Mm-hmm. Shout out to you, and uh, rest in power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and we, we delve into the hive mind mentality. Yeah. We're just a bunch of ants. Yes. Merchandise. Cool. Um, yeah. Support the podcast by uh, dropping us a dollar on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Uh Also pick up a tea on Teespring. Very cool. Yeah. Shop And uh, like, share, subscribe. That great stuff. Yeah. And what's the other thing we need to do? Uh, we gotta make we gotta make these video replies, yeah. Vish. We you gotta make those. these real video replies. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited for our first one. But, yeah. <laughs> cool. Enjoy. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. Excelsior. Very nice. And welcome back to another episode of Scrad Gamers. That is his phrase, right? Excelsior. I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it is. is. It, it is. is. It is. All right. Um, so this is. Uh, you're back with your two hosts, Ervil and uh, Vishal. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's the weekly roundup podcast where we talk about four things from the week that we thought were cool, and we dissect them in the Socratic way as we play video games in the gamer way. Yes. Hence the Socratic gamer. So, first on the docket, Vish. Well, Excelsior! Yeah, if you know what that was, that's from Stan Lee. Stan Lee. Passed away. Yep. 95 rest in power. years old. You ever hear rest in power? No. No? All right. It's like a big thing where people are like, rest in peace, and like, rest in power. <laughs> okay. I, I wrote rest in power because I thought it was funny. Well, oh, okay. Not the funny thing. Di- well, all right. We'll go home. I, I know what you mean. <laughs> so I just like looking up some interesting facts, a few facts. Okay. Facts about Stanley. All right. So you're going to yeah. open the podcast with facts about Stanley. I like it. All right. Go ahead. Why not? Uh, he well, was born. In... First of all, Stan Lee is not his real name. All right. Okay. All right. That's <laughs> that's like when you get told that Santa Claus isn't real. All right. Well, uh, what I, like I found out was he used it as a pseudonym because he oh, also like Jamie Fox. Yeah, he used it as a pseudonym. You know, in in order if he wanted to end up writing novels because that's also what he wanted to do. Oh, and Stan Lee sounds cool for comics and uses his real name in novels. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So his real name is Stan Lee. Roy. Martin. Oh. Lieber. So he's got a four word name. No. It's three words. Stan Lee is one word. Stanley? Yeah, L E Y. Oh, so Stanley. Oh Stanley. Yeah. Like Stanley Park. Yeah. He just DC. cut up Stan Lee the first time. Oh, that's into funny. Two. That's pretty oh, good that's actually. Cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. Yeah, he was born in goddamn nineteen twenty two. Whoa, was that before the World War One too? Nineteen fourteen was World War One, uh, something like that. Yeah, it was bef- It was after World War One. That's before, not too long ago. Eh? Before World War Two, yeah. Yeah, that's not too long yeah. ago. He wasn't in the army. Well, yeah. Was he writing comics in the army? Uh, it's called. He was writing comics in the army. Please. No, no, All right. no, 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 no. There's big jokes. Um, it's called like the U.S. Signal Corps. I don't know. It's like okay, uh, wait, wait, hold on, wait. I don't know what's fact and fiction right now. Is this the actual army that he joined, or is that something that he created? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, this is uh. He 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 did join them, and, and this is an actual like part of the army, I guess. And okay. They just their job is like, where they uh, repair telegraph poles and other communication equipment. Oh, that's cool. So he's like a techie. So, yeah, yeah, kind of in that kind of nice. stuff. I didn't know that. Thought that was cool. Where did Excelsior come from? 
Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't look into that. I thought you would have done your research uh, uh, thoroughly. Uh, uh, All right. True. I was just looking at his history, not the word excelsior. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. So, he became an editor and like got seventeen years old. Okay, that's cool. And well, I mean, things were pushed back back then. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, school yeah, yeah, was yeah, like... Yeah. No, he just... It was high school, then off to work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There was no, like, yeah. college, university, no. grad school, PhD. So he was editor at Timely Comics. Okay. Uh, that was like in 19... Timely. Ti- 1941. Oh, man. Wasn't that World War II ended, World 1943, something like that? 45, I think it was. 45, all right. Yeah. Uh, and then Timely Comics would eventually be na- renamed as Atlas Comics. Okay. That's cool. It was in that was in the nineteen fifties, and then, which will, and then it was rebranded as Marvel Comics. Oh no way! In nineteen sixty one, did yeah. he buy it? No. Oh, he was just he's, an editor. He's just an editor. Okay. So why? Do you, how do you become the face of Marvel? Because of all the, uh, the, like so yeah. That's the next thing here was like he collaborated with other people and he created Spider Man. Okay, so it, which Spider Man wasn't his creation. Uh, a collaborated creation. Yeah, a lot of these are collaborations, okay. uh, right? Um, the Hulk, Doctor Strange, right? The Fantastic Four. That that stuff. Oh, those ones created. Yeah, and there's that's cool. Iron Man, Daredevil, and I guess some characters in X Men. Oh, okay, he didn't create well. all X Men characters. Not all, but yeah. this is like kind of what made Marvel Marvel. Yeah, for sure. For yeah. being, he was a part of this whole They're the process. Icons, yeah. 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 Oh, interesting. So he was there. He pretty much, you know, it was him. How did he die? Did he just die of old age? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's a good way to go. Yeah. You know? Was he didn't have cancer? Uh, I don't know. Bless you. <laughs> Said the Lord. All right. <laughs> uh, so yeah. No, well, I don't. I didn't look into that aspect. I just okay. know he died. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't uh, think that matters. You know? I mean, ninety-five is pretty good age. Okay. Right. He, he played the Watcher, eh? In the, those movies, he was supposed to be the Watcher. Like, there was some, like, um, this the is watcher. like a fan rumor. The Watcher? What do you yeah. mean? For what? So, you know how he made all those, um, what do you call those? All those appearances in those those shows? In those movies? Yeah, that's part of my next thing. Oh, okay. All right. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. So, yeah, like, he, all those um, Marvel movies that he was in, um, it was actually part of his contract. Oh. That uh, there's a special clause in an agreement that specifies that Stan must appear in any film based on one of his characters. That's cool. He put that in or? I guess so, yeah, when they got the deals to make those movies, yeah. That's awesome. Good for him. So I thought that was like, ooh. But they, they said that, like, there was, like, fan rumors saying that it was, he was the Watcher. Like as the movie, what do you mean? Like you know the Watcher, the character. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. who's like, like infinite through time. He's just watching oh, people I see. their lives. <laughs> That's why he's in every movie. He's the Watcher. I see. Okay. okay. That was the fan theory. Like, and then like at right. the end of. Um, That's all I had though. Right. Yeah. Oh okay. At at the end of um. Uh, what's it called? Avengers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would appear to be the Watcher. Like I was here the entire time. He'd be like <laughs> this like helpful character. Who who knows? Maybe he will be in this new Avengers that's coming out. Wouldn't that be crazy? It's like, I am the Watcher. Yeah, he was in, he was in the Spider-Man game, too. He was? Yeah. Made an appearance? Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. What do you what do? You do? Uh, he was uh, working at a diner. and Oh, it's kind of random. Kind of. It's just got to know what's going on in the game to understand it. What he says. It's just like, you know, it's a cameo. Nice. All right. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, quick, quick game. There's a lot more note. facts, though, but, you know, I just wanted to pull out a few. Yeah, Google them. Pay some respect, rest in power, Stanley. You are the man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not to not to sidetrack into the game, but this is a sweet satchel that he's got going on. <laughs> I was like, man, I kind of want to buy that. I saw this kind of coat in Nordstrom, and I was like, mm, I should buy that. But it was right. two hundred dollars, and I was like, no, nah, <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna buy that. Okay. Well, yeah. Anyways, so uh, that's all you got for. That's all I got. But there's many more. You can look it up online. Look it up online. Rest in power. Rest in peace. Okay, so my topic is Patriot Act. Have you ever like you've seen you've seen all of them, right? Yep. So what I thought was really cool, the thing that really struck me out of all the Patriot Act scenes, I guess, mm-hmm. or episodes, was uh, the Saudi Arabia one, where yeah. they're talking about how 
um, we were talking about how like like Saudi Saudi Arabia is funding all of these corporations, right? Like uh, Lyft, all these ups, no, not Lyft, all these upstarts like WeWork. Yeah. And then it, and then how uh, Trump was saying we can't give up Saudi money. That's like billions of dollars, trillions of dollars. No, it's not just Trump, right? Everybody else. Before no, no, of him course, too. no, of course, of course, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the oil game and stuff, you read Silk Roads, it's all about that. So, like, uh, what I was thinking was we can never escape. I know we talked about this before, but we'll just reiterate it now, but we can't escape climate change. It's impossible, you know? Because although people are saying, like, you know, don't put carbon emissions in the air, but when you're, when you're drilling for oil, you're essentially putting those carbon emissions in the air inadvertently you know it, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like oh we like the amount of cars that are out there but what about when you pass those like stacks that are just pumping pollution into the air mm -hmm. all day you know what i mean so it's like and yeah, what mean, are it, those it, things it, doing yeah, yeah. those are the real ones like, it's factories not necessarily cars like cars do make an impression and like but if you re remove all the cars emissions you're still going to have the factories and we rely on oil so heavily and i think we need to stop thinking about oil as being just for cars but like realizing it's in plastics and paint i think they do do rubbers. that i think they do do that because there's, there's a bigger picture then, of, of everything right there there's groups trying to reduce plastics there are you know what i mean right maybe they should combine i guess uh kind of give everyone the same kind of message for yeah. sure for sure but the thing that i'm thinking about is that you can never escape the necessity of oil in our culture right that's that's precisely why the saudis are so rich right because they drill the oil and they give it to us and we turn that oil into things like toys yeah no, iphone no, no, no. covers yeah but you know yeah iphone wires yeah um like i can't think as i look around in our mm -hmm. apartment i can't see anything that's not trace back to oil right. like some component of oils in it yeah. you know and it's almost like you just have to accept that this is what we've made and this is where we're gonna go mm -hmm. there's no escaping it yeah and just coming to terms with it you know yeah there's a whole part of it too like i was just looking at something that's talked about like uh, pollution uh-huh and where the worst places are yeah oh uh, china uh um, well, I don't think they could, uh, they, they didn't show China because probably they don't have the rights to go there and kind of check the actual air. Okay. But like they had like, US was in there. Oh, uh, really? I forgot yeah. what city and uh, in India was there. Like these are areas that are recently getting into these, um, well, not America, but like in, in uh, India and all that, they're just recently getting into all like these, um, uh, these like these these things that they're using right, right like right, uh, right. pollution it, what's increasing the pollution and it's really really bad hmm. that could potentially affect your health right no for sure for sure but so, what what i'm wondering is like <clears throat> why are we why are we shouting about like climate change when we should really just appreciate the positive and negative about it you know what i mean it's like well yeah no no no, no. it's it, it's like I, I, I see hear, I see what you mean, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many people anti-climate change. It's like, it. all right, that's not really the issue, okay? If we really look at it, because they're like, okay, well, you could just walk to work. You could just, it's like, I'm like, that's such a small drop in the pond. Like, you mm -hmm. thinking that you're going to cycle or, um, you know. I don't think necessarily this is how where it stops, right? Like, uh, with anything, um, it starts somewhere, and it's not going to end, in a sense. Like... So you're no, but right, right, but but for, but it's just like government. You're yeah. never gonna delete all of the government and start anew, no. right? The last but, attempt was America, right? Uh, okay. So it's just like our economic and oil systems right yeah. now, right? Our resource systems. The machine's too big. You can't stop it. And I think the people at the top they know this. So when they hear stuff about like anti climate change and like anti anti-pollution and stuff it's like they know yeah you're you're they realize whoever's in power like quote unquote um they they are laughing at the fact that you are 
you are crapping all over climate change and like all these issues on an iPhone that uses oil. Right. So it's like that was that was also transported to you through a truck that also used oil. No, oh, yeah, we and know the that. Painting though. on the iPhone. Yeah, yeah, we know that. But no, 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 no. We know that. I don't think most people know that. Like when you see, uh, they're all only the, they're fighting issue by issue, right? Not necessarily. They don't know the whole picture necessarily. No, when you see, if when you see it, yeah. like online, people are like, oh, we gotta stop climate change. Oh, it's so bad. First of all, if you ask them why is it bad, they can't tell you. They just know it's bad. Well, yeah, it will. So, okay, that's you, a failed argument. You don't actually know anything about it. Right. Um, but simultaneously, yes, they're, they're, it's like you, you have the freedom of speech uh, online, which was created by oil money and is. I agree with you there. I mean, a lot of people. Lot of, of oil. Yeah, I agree with you there. A lot of people just go on bandwagon on, on something that. For sure. They believe in it, or they may not have all the facts or how to answer those things, but they're not the experts in it necessarily, right? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. No, no, 100%. Yeah, but, but that's from everything. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, right. yeah, 100%. Yeah. Which like ties into my next topic, but we'll save that for later. But yep. really really the realization here should be that there's no real way to stop this. If you're listening to this podcast, you've contributed to the oil industry in some way. Of course, yeah, of course. But we can you're, only but you're, reduce it. Right, but right. you're No, no, no. But, all right. So, here's the illusion. So, you're like Oh, climate change is bad. But I'm listening to this on something that was supported on oil. Okay, let's reduce it. Okay, then give me back your iPhone. No, I don't want to give it back your iPhone. So... Uh, I think you, we should look at what's actually, like, like, like um, in actual numbers. Like, well, how much is vehicles actually uh, putting into the air? Or, like, how much is... Uh, making an iPhone, putting it into the air. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, it's it's not really the iPhone. It's I'm not the, saying the extraction get, of the resource. Right. I'm not saying yeah, but uh, how much are you extracting out that's causing that? Do you know that there's an oil spill right now that nobody talked? I I learned about it on that show, and yeah. it's been like it's been shooting out oil, but it wasn't like publicly talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that already, it's a good show. It's a good. It's show. a good show. But <laughs> you definitely got to watch it. Patriot Act, Hassan. Minaj. Minaj. Yeah, but so, so like in that, it's like you're, we complain about oil, but there's been gallons and gallons of, like millions of gallons of oil that's being pumped in our oceans that we're not even aware of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And then they're like, okay, you should stop that. Yes, but we needed that pipeline because we needed to get you... See, at the end of the day, people don't realize it's really them who are at fault because you vote with your dollars. If people stopped purchasing these products that were produced by oil companies, then you would put the oil company out of business. So it's not really the fault of the oil company. The oil company is giving you what you need. It's satisfying a no, desire. No, no, no. I, I know, yeah. You know? So, like... But eventually, it would they would have to find you other sources or something. Right, right, right. right. It's, no, just, no, 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 it's no. a but slow it, It's like you're, you're biting the hand that feeds. It's giving you something and you're biting it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, just don't buy that product then. Like, go go buy, like, a Tesla car. But even the Tesla cars definitely has some component of oil to it as well, the rubber tires. Right. You know what I mean? So it's like, you can't but How much? That. Right, you know right for sure, for sure. I'm just saying. That, that's what I'm like, trying to say. It's like, stop, yeah. stop placing blame on others. And just look at yourself with a critical eye and be like, what am I purchasing that's contributing to this? You probably I totally don't, agree with that. You totally don't even know totally the economic that. chain. You probably don't even understand the economic chain of it to be like, oh, I'm the one contributing to this. Yeah. So like really you're on these message boards and you're you're like attacking people who are contributing to climate change, but you should really be attacking yourself. Right. I think, you know, that's like the old phrase too, right? It fix the house before you go and talk or like about uh, the What's that? take the log out of your eye before I judge never, your never yard before. Let's say some Jesus line. Oh, okay. Like, well, yeah, it's like, you know, fix the in-house then before you, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah Look yeah. inwards before you can Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I don't think and, you should just spew without actually having any And that's what's ironic. So yeah. when I came to this realization, I'm like, do I like the things that I have? Yes. So are you really <laughs> going to be the one that's like, well, climate change is bad. You should stop using oil. It's like, well, buy a lot of it, don't I? <laughs> you know what I mean, so it's like. No, but he said that same thing with. Uh, it was funny how he brought when he would talk about Amazon too. It was the same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's he's like, like, yeah, he's but like, like we know what they're doing, but Amazon Prime, like, can we get so it the next day? Yeah. It's so goddamn good. It's still good. 
I know. So it's like, yeah, you guys need to regulate that on your own end. I'm going to hope that you do, but I'm still going to buy the product. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the exact same thing. And yeah, I think, yeah, 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 yeah. I think people really, I, I, all right, not to like crap on anybody else's education, but, but like, I think business, you have to either learn some component or, of it or like actually study it because business is what makes the world go round. You know? Of course, everything. I mean, that's, right? that's from the beginning of time. From the beginning of time, because trade is business. Yes, like everything falls under any human interaction is a business interaction. Yes, right. So it's like if you don't understand the supply chain of it all, if you don't understand how it works on a, like a more more granular scale, not granular, grand scale, right? Then you're going to be lost because you're going to be like, like oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like it's a narrow point of view. The people that are complaining about things like climate change. You gotta have more of a nuanced kind of view on things, though. Right? What do you mean? Like it's not, you know, you gotta look at the whole picture. Yeah, for versus, sure. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Instead of the component parts. Yeah. But people are so obsessed with the component parts, because it's the instant gratification. I'm champion for. This is why it's kind of funny, because it's like. You're in these group circles. But then you, these yeah, that, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah I don't like that. You're like, in, I'm champion for something, but and it's then, like you're oh, I'm better than you. Like that, and then you think that you're better than that, yeah. that. That's it's so like it's like it's like harmful. hey, yeah. hey, man, you know, I don't can I I try and lessen my carbon footprint. <laughs> you know, and it's like <laughs> okay, that's cool. Like you know that there's you know this like uh, this poncho that you're wearing, it's got a nice color of purple. You know where the color purple comes from. <laughs> oil right but my carbon footprint's not as bad as yours okay but you're you still have a carbon footprint right so i don't understand you know like it's in group out group mentality that's what it really is and people just want to pe- feel like they're a part of something and if they just scream loud enough without looking at the facts you know it's like well i'm accepted somewhere mm-hmm. yeah. well i mean we are humans that we are like the truly brave Apes. person is the truly brave. Exactly. And they're they're collectivists, right? They want to work together. But the, I feel like the truly brave person is the one that could be like, you know, there's that quote line where it's like, even if everyone's doing it, doesn't mean it's correct. Yeah. Right? So it's like, you have to be brave enough to stand on your own. Yeah. And to think like, maybe I might be wrong. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't actually know what I'm talking about. You should always, I feel like you should always, it's like when you're doing martial arts, you should always come to it like, you know nothing when you're studying it, but like there are times when you need to like act like, you know, you're the best. Yeah. But like, most people just focus on them being the best. Mm-hmm. But not everyone focuses on like, what can you teach me? You know. Right. Yeah. That's my grade. All right. Cool. 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 What's your next one? Well, not so. Um, I don't know. We say that like. Let's tone it down a bit. Right. Some what? simpler topic. <laughs> okay. Just, you know, nothing that intense. Like oh, just, okay, okay. Just trying, like, yeah. Uh, You're saying because we just went super intense. Yeah, I mean, okay. it's, it's something of an in- intense topic, right? It just, it irritates me quite often when I see this stuff, like, where it's like, did you really think that through, or did somebody <laughs> put that in your mind? Which right. is, again, going to my other topic, but I'll save that one. Right. So go ahead, yeah. Right. Uh, so gaming related. Okay. E three comes every June. Oh, do I? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. PlayStation. E three. Uh, yeah. Well, it's related to E three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And. And PlayStation has said they are not doing E three this year. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. It doesn't. I don't think that they're not doing anything because they don't have anything. I think they have games. I think it's more to do with like, why do you want to compete with all these guys now? at sure. the same day because yeah, you're sure. you know you're trying to compete for like airtime it's like Apple yeah you do that's exactly what they brought up the idea well some they wrote that article I was reading about okay. that, it's like Apple Apple sets the time when they're ready to show yeah. right okay yeah for sure so I think that's why that they're doing this okay they will have to do something because every year there's games going to be released and it's, it's a method to it's, it's a marketing thing right for so sure, you yeah. need to do this anyways I think they'll do it either before or after on their own time and it, another reason is probably there because they said earlier the year this year or yeah a few months ago they're working on a new playstation oh snap ps5 that's cool that's cool so i'm wondering if that's got anything to do with the part of that release they'll have it like 
so they separately with the if they're going to announce what the PlayStation next one's going to be or like I don't know other what schematics and things like that and then and then also show the game that's coming out this year like I it, like they just said we're not doing E3 so I'll, they will do something I think okay I don't think you, you can think skip out that Apple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I think it's also like... I like the marketing tactic. Yeah, I like... Because cause, uh, they used to do the PlayStation experience and yeah. uh, every December for fans, they would go out. Uh-huh. So they didn't have one this year. Okay. So I'm wondering if they're just going to... You know, it's like so much to do. We got E3, then other conventions too. Uh-huh. It's like focus on one and then where all the fan base of PlayStation come into that place. For sure, for sure. Right? Yeah. I, think, I think that's what they're thinking of doing. Nice. Oh, that's cool. So I thought that oh, was... Oh, that, that'll be exciting. We should stream that. If it's on a weekend or something. Well, yeah, whenever they do it, I'm pretty sure it will be on the weekend. They cool. generally hold these kinds of conventions like oh, that. Oh, that's exciting. So I think... I think. Can we fly out to it? This is just guessing. Oh, though, my God, right? can we fly out to it? Uh, Yeah, why not? How, how much is it? No, they haven't announced anything yet. Okay. They just said they're not doing E3. So we're just now speculating... Were, were we talking about going to E3? Huh? You, weren't we talking about going to E3, you and I? Yeah. Is it a weekend? Yeah, it's generally a weekend. Okay. I think. That's not bad. Like, what are the tickets, like 400 bucks? I don't know. I'll do that. I don't know. Recent, like, before, it used to be only for um, press, right? Yeah, yeah, But now it's open. Now it's open. I'd do that. That'd be cool. Well, we'll, we'll see. So, but we'll I wonder if this, is, it, this will probably good. affect the E3 sales, though. True. Because <laughs> this is one of the oh, big yeah, companies true, that are not... not... No, 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 no. So, so there's go. no point no, in going yeah, now. Yeah, no, that's true. There's no point in going now. It's only Xbox. Actually, it's only Xbox and Ubisoft. Nintendo doesn't even do it. Snobby. Nintendo nah, stopped a while ago. That. Some, you know, they do the uh, online. All right. Well, keep keep an eye on that. If the yeah, PlayStation yeah, yeah. one is good, I'll def because like they might announce some sort of new Uncharted thing. Like PlayStation's always got the best stories, so I would love to go to a PlayStation conference. So yeah, they're they're predicting yeah PlayStation Five twenty nineteen or twenty twenty. That'd be sick. I would go. I would go. That's not bad. That's like that's like one of those life. Uh, life check mark. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, I, That's true. We went to a thing. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, keep an eye. Well, when, when is it? Sorry? When is what? Well, when is the prediction or something you said? Well, or no, 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 no. Prediction for the no, no, no. Oh, they haven't, no. They haven't said anything. They don't know, right. We don't know the date. We can't predict the date. Right, but right, like, right. I think they would do something, but outside of E3. Okay. That's, do uh, that's you think they'll I'm sell not. tickets for it or no? Maybe, yeah. That'd be cool. Why not? That'd be very I think cool. they'd pull a... I think that it was successful, the PlayStation experience. It's just... Oh, you know, it'd be really sick if we did, like, podcast recaps every night. You know what I mean? Like, it just, <laughs> yeah, we could do that. like, yeah, blitz we series. Do, we could do that, yeah. Because, like, video editing would take way too long for me to do it. But, like, if we did, we turned over a podcast, that'd be super easy. Yeah. And bring this mic. It'd be easy. Yeah. Yeah, right? All right, true. Yeah. All right, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. If it's, uh, if it's not too expensive and they have open tickets, that'd be really cool to go to. Yeah. E3 is not as cool anymore that PlayStation's not there because <laughs> I would want to... Like, Xbox is kind of dying, so I'm like... Uh, unless they talk about Halo, but it's like... Uh, it's really the PlayStation that always gets I don't it. know if they're dying. They're doing a lot of things that are different than PlayStation, though. Like, they're trying to sell, like, Game Passes where you pay, like, monthly, like a Netflix kind of fee. It's unlimited? Uh, they put... Uh, so far, they have about 100 games, and every month they're adding two games or something like that. Okay, true. So that's that's that. a, I think that's a, how much is it? Uh, I don't know Canadian. I think it's like ten dollars American. Oh, so like probably like almost twenty bucks. Maybe like yeah, I don't know. Bucks. I don't know the exact price for us, but they're doing like different things. That'd be cool. Trying to sell because they totally they lost this race. Yeah, yeah, for right. Sure, they for they sure. won last one. They totally boggled this one. For sure, for sure. But it's not like they're so bad. It's just. Like they're still selling more consoles than ever before. For sure, for right? sure. It's for just sure. Uh, if you compare compare it as a race. Right. Yeah. For sure. Oh, right. That's cool. So, I like that. Yeah. Sick. That's all, man. All right. So, <laughs> last Pretty topic. Uh, we were talking about this last night, uh, but I'm going to. I got told that I say "ah" uh, a lot, so now I'm being like really self conscious on the "uhs." Do I say "ah" uh, a lot? Do you hear me say I don't know. I like, guess, we're really into I it, so it's like... Not really, yeah. It's like a pause. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Sorry if I say ah oh, too much. I'm going to stop thinking about it because now it's messing up the way I'm twice, talking. I know it's, it's messing up the way I'm talking because now I'm overly thinking about not saying ah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Anyways, so we were talking about this last night, and uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> there it is again. Okay, whatever. So we were talking about this last night, and... We, what, are we like this, what are we talking about? What are we talking about? I'm going to recap it. So okay. I'm just going to recap it first, and then we'll just like continue the conversation. Sure. So I was talking to this 
uh, Korean, uh, how would I explain him? He's a Korean, Korean government official. Okay. Like he, I guess he works for the government. Yeah, he works for the government. Yeah. He, he works where I work too. Okay. So, but like we just like happened to be doing like he I was out on a job and then he came with me. Okay. So we like got to talking. All right. And I'm not gonna give out any secrets, but uh, so so <laughs> he was he was saying that we were talking about martial arts and this is what I was thinking yeah. about. Yeah. And he's like he's like oh, I am a first degree black belt in Taekwondo and my son is a third degree. I'm like oh man how long have you been training like because so there everybody has to serve in the military. Gotcha. Right, and it's like two or three years, and you can get your black belt in Taekwondo in the military. Mm-hmm. So he got his in the military after a year, and I was like, "Oh, that's very short." And then it got me thinking. It's like a lot of black belts in Asia, like judo in in Japan, I believe, is like a year to getting it. Okay. So what I realized, like, we glorify black belts here in the Western society because it's a means to continuously circulate pay. Mm-hmm. But in Eastern societies, it's so ingrained in their lifestyle that it's like everyone's a black belt. It's not really an important thing. Right. You know, if I, if I were to go there and be like, hey, I'm a black belt, they'd be like, that's cool. Like, they're all black belts, though. It's like assume that you would be because it's a part of like right, yeah, daily yeah. life there uh, yeah, yeah, you know it's almost like I, I have grade 9 mathematics that's cool <laughs> we all do right you know yeah. so that got me thinking about how like uh, we uh, well, how would you explain this we we are a society that's more focused on the accolade than actually the knowledge yeah, you know okay. it's like, and I was saying last night that I like sambo because there's no belts in it. Mm-hmm. It's like it's all dictated by skill, you know, and that I feel is like better. It's better and worse because like people need like hoops. They need things to make themselves feel like they're important. Because yeah. I remember when I got a black belt, it became a mental crutch. Not a crutch, but like uh, it became like a mental assist. Because it is like if something was hard, I was like, "Well, I'm black belt. Okay, I can do this." But it's like, why did I need to say I was a black belt? Why can't I just be like, "I can do this"? Right. You know, yeah, saying yeah, like yeah, some yeah, people, yeah. and this got me thinking about how, uh, after reading the book, uh, what's it called? Damn, I'm like blanking. Oh, uh, the the brain and the meaning of life. Mm-hmm. So it's about how our brain and our brain is the creator of our mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this this is a mind blow, but all choice <laughs> is is dictated by dopamine release. Mm-hmm. So we always, without consciously knowing it, the brain seeks to maximize its dopamine release. Yeah. So and then people are like, no, but what about if you prolong? Yeah, you're getting a dopamine release by realizing that I'll get a bigger dopamine release later. So it's mm-hmm. like, okay, if I just put the work in now, even though it sucks, later on it's going to be better. I'm going to have a stronger dopamine release. So it's always governed by dopamine release. And what the realization is that our choices are all emotional. And emotion is based off of chemicals. So are you really free in your free will? Right. Right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like you're governed by emotions. Emotions are chemical and... Mm-hmm. Like, where it's it's almost like that high vent theory that we were talking about last night how how we don't actually know what it is we're doing but we believe we're important and that we're doing is correct but right. if you actually look at it from a macro scale we're no better than worker worker bees or like high vents yeah, yeah you know because we the body created this thing called a mind and then we got so the mind got so caught up in thinking that it was the most important thing. It's not that the mind, yeah, but that was that was the objective, though. That, that's what, yeah, that's yeah, what, that's yeah, what yeah, we're gonna yeah, get. Yeah, okay. That's why it's like okay. it's like ants, yeah. because the body, in order to survive, created a thing called the mind to make itself survive for longer. Yeah. What were you gonna say? Yeah, no, I mean, like uh, with the ant, I was thinking of that uh, later. It was like, I mean, we we, we build our own ant hills. Yeah, yo, that's so <laughs> <With> true. Cities, <laughs> yeah, cities are like ant hills. Very true. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and 
Yeah, and it made me think of because I also saw Russell Peters yesterday, who's really funny. Mm. But I realized that with this other podcast yeah. that I was listening to Joe Rogan, um, the logic was created not to actually find truth. Logic was created in order to make others believe in your truth. So basically, your mind was brainwashing another mind. And that's what life is all about. Mm -hmm. It's like, I have this great business idea. I can see it. My mind can see it. Yeah. So now I have to brainwash your mind into believing it too. <laughs> and then we're going to work together to propagate the species right. and build this business or this tower or this whatever. Yeah. It's no better than ants. Yeah, it's an interesting word. Yeah. Right. It's literally no better than ants. Brainwash. Oh, brainwash. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Or convince. Or convince. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I realized that like with... Russell Peters, he's so funny, but he's just a normal person who sees the world a specific way, yes. but brainwashed all these people or convinced all these people into thinking that he was important. He's important. He's very funny. Mm -hmm. you know, he's very entertaining, but simultaneously, he's still a person. But his brain created a mind that was so powerful that it made us all believe in its mind. Right. You know, And I think that's what... That's like the force almost. Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like uh -huh. it's all mental, mental stuff, mm. you know? And uh, when, when people say like all life is a comedy and tragedy, it's either a comedy or tragedy. I always thought it was like the way you look at life is either sad or happy, you know? Oh, okay. Right. But what it really, I believe now what it really is, is when you realize what life really is, which is a figment of your own mind, which is a byproduct of your brain then it's either really funny because like, mm -hmm. oh, we're, we're like bees. We're uh, funny because there's bees in the scene. <laughs> or ants, right? Yeah, 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 but, yeah. Or it's really sad because it's like, wow, we're so brainwashed. Right. And they say that comedians and depressed people are the only two that actually understand life and its reality because in both, in both scenarios, you're being overly analytical and critical about the situation. Mm -hmm. You know? And, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. and I think that's what enlightenment is. When... When Buddha was saying, like, they're like, are you human? He's like, no. Are you a man? No. What are you? Awake. And it's like, you read that over and over, you're like, what do you mean awake? Like, what are you enlightened to? And I think he was enlightened to the fact that he was creating his own story, and we all do that. Right. right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's why he was so obsessed with, like, snuffing out the mind. He's like, you don't need it. Sometimes you don't need the mind. But the thing is, you can't... There's another great line where it's like, you, it's it's a hard ask to mm -hmm. get tea without leaves and meat without bones, right? Because tea tea comes from leaves and yeah, yeah, yeah. meat <laughs> comes from bones. So it's like, how do you get rid of? Well, funny timing because you're skinning that. Uh, yeah. If you're not watch, if you're not listening to this, if you're listening to this on iTunes, they're just playing uh, Red Dead. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, it's like you can't leave one without the other. You right. need both. Okay. That's the duality. Okay. So it's like yeah. we, we can never escape our minds because we have a brain, and the brain is the creator of the mind. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And if you had no mind, how could you propagate the species? You would just be going off impulse. Yeah. You know, we wouldn't have progress. We'd have people, but we wouldn't have progress. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have shelters. That was a creation of the mind. Yeah. It's, it's literally like ants. We are like ants. Yeah, I think we're controlled by our... Uh, like those bacteria that start. Yeah, those life. bacteria. Yeah, yeah, exactly. How people say that, like the mycelium, the mushrooms got into us, and they're even saying that, like, I mean, yeah, I'm saying like from the first bacteria that was just to, for sure, just to duplicate or or propagate. cells, it, the cells. Yeah, that's cells. what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's and what... we're made up of cells, right? Yeah. So it's like one cell would double itself, and then it, the two cells would double itself again. So you get four cells and then it yeah. would like it would, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, keep going keep going <laughs> keep doubling it and but it's just like what we're doing now it's like now I gotta get a kid now I gotta get more kids mm -hmm. now I gotta get stuff yeah it's just encoded in our DNA that we gotta keep propagating things and I feel like the cells created this thing called a mind to make that work faster uh, faster what do you mean like what does that mean in or like you wouldn't have agriculture without a mind Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they created this thing that would logically fix itself. That's true, that's true, yeah. I mean, the, the industrial era just 
it just exploded. Exploded. But that was all based off of mind, yeah. which is analytical reasoning and thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, so thought that was a mind blow. <laughs> mind mind blow. blow. But you know what I'm saying? It's like we and and this this goes back to what I was thinking about last week when I couldn't explain it. Where it's like we're in this interconnected system where like nature created ailments, but at the same time it gave us the solution. So it's almost like we see separation within non-separation because like we're all a part of one thing, but we think we're all separate from all things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you look at all life in terms of cells, we are all cells. Mm -hmm. And this illusion of a mind was just we're getting swept up in a creation of our cells because our cells like, okay, we, we need to move faster at this thing. <laughs> we, we can become a stronger virus if I create this thing called, again, a mind. Right. Yeah. yeah. But what do you do with that information? Right? Because obviously somebody's be like, so we don't need the mind. Of course you need the mind, bro. You're, you're listening to this on, your on a phone. That's why oil is important and mind is important. Mm-hmm. Why are we here where we are today? Because of oil and analytical, analytical reasoning and thinking. You need both. Climate change is just a byproduct of what we are naturally. Yes. Right. Yeah. It could have been any other material if it wasn't if it wasn't you know oil. Yeah. We would have found some other resources and then used the crap out of that. Because that's what our programming is to continue to spread are you thinking of a counter argument no i'm more like um like it it it's doing that it's also competing with something else right like if, other cells if, other people's cells like people are cells yeah so yeah, other yeah, cells. yeah yeah but i mean that's why like some species stop like they can't based on other things environment or whatever it is yeah, for sure. like it's, yeah it's just pure competition yeah yeah i think i think if you looked at life from a very high perspective if you zoomed all the way out you just see chaos just like non-stop rolling balls of chaos Mm -hmm. but because we're actually in it we see it as change well yeah yeah, 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 so it's like it's like if you zoomed out it's like whoa look at the way those humans are changing that planet and like all this like look at the planet shifting itself and whatever whatever but because we're actually like in it we're in it right now we can't see that we're in it Mm -hmm. so we call it change Right. And like stuff that we don't want to change, like climate change. It's like, no, no, no. We want the climate to stay the same way forever. When in history has anything stayed the same thing forever? Mm-hmm. You know, everything yeah, changes yeah, yeah, over yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the only constant in life is change. So that's why we're just a big ball of chaos. Right. Yeah, floating through space, mm. which is still chaos. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it's just chaos upon chaos. I mean, it started with chaos of this big bang. So yeah, exactly, it's exactly. Chaos. Exactly, yeah. And I think that's why we crave meditation, which is the silence. It's like the nullifying of that chaos. We stop it for a moment so that we can wake up and then go back into the chaos because all life is chaos. Yeah. yeah. Sounds so negative, but it's really not. It's like a beautiful. It depends on the perspective. You, it's yeah, like a you gotta be. Scope. Yeah, you gotta be on like a flame. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to make it beautiful now because people are like, "Oh, that sounds so negative," but it's like really not. It's just, yeah, it is no, what it is. It's, I mean, I think that whole idea is still, you know. Think think about like think about like think about like this. Beautiful. If time, if our perception of time was super fast and we saw grass grow at like. Yeah, we do like do that seconds in, in those like uh, time lapses. Yeah, yeah. So doesn't it look like chaos when you're looking at time lapses? Grow, cut down. Grow, mm, cut down. Mm-hmm. Grow, cut down. If you look at that really fast, it's like it's just a moving, like, frequency. Right. Yeah. 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 You yeah. Know? Life and death. Is exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I and that's what they believe. Like samsara is that change that like that life and death component, and then nirvana or moksha liberation from that change is just the stopping of that chaos for just a moment mm-hmm. before you jump back in. You're al- this is how you relieve yourself from the chaos to realize it's all chaos. Right. You know? It just, just if you're listening to this, think about this for a moment. Time lapse an entire day and just watch it. It would look super fast. It's chaos. Right? Because that's change. That's movement. But time lapse like a rock. 
Actually, even if you did time lapse a rock, if you did it over thousands of years, because each thing's got like a different yeah, yeah, time span. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like everything's yeah. changing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even the rock's going to decay mm-hmm. at some point, mm-hmm. and so on and so forth. Yeah, live in the chaos and master your emotions, but you can't because everything pushes your forward. Yeah, through chemicals. Yeah. That's why I think we're like caught up in this dance, and I think when people realize this, they, that's when they get. Well, I certainly get mind blown every time I think about this stuff. I'm like, oh my god, that's what's really going on. And I have these really long conversations at night where I'm like, oh, okay, I got to work tomorrow, so <laughs> probably got to sleep. But that's the chaos of it all. And I had all these arguments in my head. In your head? Were you psychotic? Yeah. Not in that sense. I'm contemplating. Kidding. Contemplation. In my head. See, that's a better phrase. Exactly. Uh, are, you, are you psychotic? No, no, no I'm contemplating. Oh, okay, so that's cool, man. That's cool. See what I'm saying? It's it's all perceptions of reality. How you frame a story is what's most important because your your mind, the by, the byproduct of your brain, needs something to keep it under control before it goes crazy. Yeah. Before before the mind realizes that it was created by the brain, and then it goes, "Hey, man, what the hell?" You know, I thought I was in charge yeah. the whole time. Right. Right. And that's why I was mind blown last night when I realized through reading this book that the brain, the mind is the byproduct of the brain. Mm -hmm. I was like, wait, all this spiritual talk about being this like sentient being, it's like, it's not true. It's really not true. We're, We're propagated forward by, you know, but then people will say you're the awareness behind the thought. Right. You hear that in spirituality all the time. Right. But really that awareness is nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just the mind observing itself in the mind in the mind yeah yeah right yeah the only time that you you can stop that is meditation and sleep but that's when the mind isn't working that's why your your perception of time is gone Mm -hmm. because you're like wait where did i go because the mind wasn't there to calculate anything but to observe a thought when people are like oh just observe your thought observe your thought that's still the mind at work observing itself in, right. in hopes to snuff itself out. Yeah. You know. Mm. I think that's the greatest realization in in life. To realize that your mind yeah. is creating everything. Right. Exactly. It's all yeah. it's all in your head. But they did that with the Matrix. Illusion. Yeah. And that's why I love the Matrix. Yeah. Right. So until next time. Stay hungry. Stay mindless. <laughs> keep the illusion. Keep keep the illusion because it's fun. Oh, I so, oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Before we finish oh, oh, it, okay. in the book, it was saying, are we just pleasure-based beings then? Is the entire... And that got yes. me thinking too. Yes. And that, that got me thinking too. Our, our awareness or our consciousness, like whatever you want to call it, the, the, the thing that's behind the thoughts, the really nothing that's behind the thoughts. Yeah. It's... You're here... In order to enjoy your experiences. Exactly. I know you told me this before when I was uh, yes. like going through the nihilism. Exactly. I was super nihilistic before. I was like, what's the point of living? What's the point of living? And saying. you're like, just enjoy the experience, bro. And I was like, oh, I never thought of it like that. <laughs> huh. But so it's now true. you've come to a point where you've understood what I meant by that. Yeah, so I, I do understand what you meant by it because yeah. I needed the scientific proof to back right. it. Yeah, because I was like, I get what you're saying on a philosophical level, but which is funny because that's what I mean. Like I went through those things for sure. Yeah, yeah. that because I watched too much documentaries to think, you know, like we're all doing these same things. Yeah, we're all yeah exactly. Right? So bacteria is no different than an animal. An yeah. animal is no different yeah. than a human. Yeah, yeah, we're all the same thing. Uh, but it's funny because in the book it ends off, it's coming to the end, and it's like neuroscience and philosophy will not only tell us what who we are, but what what we should do and mm-hmm. it's true because it took the neuroscience of this book to be like oh I get what's going on now because I knew it philosophically but it's like I didn't have hard evidence to yeah. be like no no it's actually this mm-hmm. but now I have the hard evidence because of that book definitely a must read um, The Brain and the Meaning of Life that's what it's called I don't know who it's by but yeah but yeah it's totally we're just trying to maximize our happiness in this world mm-hmm. that's why people like follow your bliss like yeah of course why would you why would you not you know but happiness happiness is like 
it's, it's, it's not it's not it, selfish. so much Self, other selfishness things, is yeah. like you we have to define happiness yeah 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 it's a it's, a, it's not really like selfishness. the meaning of that word has been changed yeah, yeah people are like oh it's, happiness yeah. is accumulating stuff no no you're just like that's sad that's like filling a void and happiness is like appreciating the experience of living mm-hmm. that's really what happiness is to realize that you are it's like enjoying the small things or like yeah for things sure. like that yeah to realize that your mind was created by the brain in order to enjoy life. That's why they're like, you are the universe realizing and appreciating itself. Because mm-hmm. the brain, which is the universe, the physical reality, created a metaphysical reality, the mind, in order to be like, yo, this is pretty dope. I like this experience right now. Let me try this food. Right. You know? So we'll leave you with that. Enjoy your experiences. Love life. I can definitively say now, love life. I, before I'd been like, love life, but it was like a tri- trite statement. But it's like, love life, why are you saying that? Well, because we maximize our choices because of dopamine release, so we seek those out, and we're chemical-based beings, so yeah. all of our choices are actually made by chemical responses in the brain mm-hmm. through neurotransmitters. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, I get it. Spot on. So it's like, yeah. so I really do mean enjoy life, because right. that is how we're hardwired. Yes. Why'd you have that kid? Because I wanted to have a kid. Yeah, you want to. You got dopamine really off of it. But mm-hmm. we're thinking in terms of metaphysical reality and, and free will and choice, but it's like, no, no, no. Your body, your physical reality is seeking to maximize its enjoyment. Yeah. Enjoy life. That is all. Yes. All right, till next time, as we go enjoy our lives for another week and then hit you guys back with four more topics. <laughs> all right, take it easy. Peace. Bye.